this is Esther and your boy. And today we're going to discuss something that's happening uh, coming next month in Fate Grand Order. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, and something that was speculated to come last year, but did not happen. So let's go to the news section. And we're going to take a look, and it's a game engine update. Okay, so in an update scheduled for June 2020, the game engine will change from Unity 5 to Unity 2018. That is awesome. That should have happened a long time ago, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. The, uh, when uh, the, the developers decide to spend time updating Unity 5 to get the, to, uh, the game to work on Android 10 uh, and, you know, instead of just switching over to Unity 2018. Uh, but, hey, we're, at least we're getting Unity uh, 2018. But anyway, this update will resolve issues of lagging and skipping during gameplay on certain iOS devices. Android device users will notice a decrease in loading times on certain screens. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, yes. Man, that will be amazing if that even comes true even somewhat. Because the load times are just egregious. I mean, I can mitigate them somewhat uh, since I play the game on BlueStacks, but, uh, and so I can afford to download all the game data, but it still, it still takes a while. Uh, continuing on here, support devices will not change uh, with the game engine update. However, we would like to request to all users take this opportunity to generate a transfer number. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this uh, in a bit. So, uh, but anyway, the uh, system requirements. So, if you're on uh, iOS 10, you're going to have to need that uh, um, or higher. iPhone 5 or higher, iPad third generation higher, iPad Mini 2 and higher, iPad iPod, sorry, touch six generation. Uh, please confirm uh, system requirements here instead of from the App Store compatibility, incompatible with iPad. Touch fifth generation and lower, iPhone 4S and lower, and incompatible with beta versions of the uh, iOS operating system. Smartphones or tablets with Android 4.1 or higher and two gig or more of RAM are needed. It's incompatible, they say, with Intel CPUs. Now, this is always a little tricky part because it's like, well, if you're running BlueStacks, um, how will this work? And to be honest, I don't think it's going to matter. It hasn't mattered so far. I mean, technically speaking, now the game is not supposed to be as it is now in, uh, compatible with Intel CPUs, and we're playing on BlueStacks just fine. So I don't think there's going to be an issue there. Uh... But they have a little note here. It is possible that the game will not work on some devices, even with the recommended version or higher. <laughs> That's always awesome, man. Can you imagine? You've got a phone. It's got all the, or, or a tablet. It's got all the requirements, and the game still doesn't play. That would just be frustrating to uh, the uh, max. Incompatible with beta version OSs. So, same old, same old. After the update, users with certain Android devices may experience lagging during battle and certain visual effects may not be displayed correctly when battery saver or other energy saving functions are enabled. If you encounter this issue, please take the following steps to resolve it. Turn off any energy saving devices such as battery saver, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, we're playing on BlueStacks. So I don't think that will be a problem now. Um, so I know people are going to ask, well, do you think this update will kill BlueStacks? Uh, you know, anything's possible. But I also think that since BlueStacks actually is officially supporting Fate Grand Order, um, that I don't think that uh, it, if it does go out, it won't be out for many days. Let's hope. Um, but that's where this transfer code, uh, making sure you have a transfer code going, uh, is going to be so key. So key. And and now to that end, you guys know that uh, longtime viewers of my uh, channel know that this is one of my pet peeves about Fate Grand Order is that they use a transfer number system instead of attaching to Google Play. Now, what I hear, and folks can correct me if I'm wrong, is that the Japanese servers, on the Japanese servers, they are now attaching the game to Android, or, or, or Google Play, I should say. Sorry, pardon me. 
Now, I cannot confirm that, so if any of you know, let me know in the comment section. Um, but that's what I'm reading, is that in Japan, they're, tra they're changing from the transfer code system to, you know, connecting the game to uh, Google Play, which, for Android at least, now I don't know what they're going to do for iOS, but for Android at least, you know, it's going to be definitely connected to Google Play, is what I'm hearing. And if that's the case, they are finally going to get this game up to speed up to modern times and the way it should be uh, that way i can be playing on my uh desktop here uh, in my office and then when i go downstairs i can go down and i can play on my laptop downstairs and uh, when i'm on the road i can play on my tablet and i don't have to transfer anything it's just all there it's all no fuss no muss and it's the way it should be now for some reason i've been told that the developers could not with the old engine to attach it to Google Play. I don't know how much I believe of that unless they've got some really crappy code. I, I've, all, I've always uh, been informed that they set up this transfer code system as part of a anti-cheating uh, mechanism. But, you know, it, it was kind of stupid in my opinion to uh, do that. So, But in the meantime, it is going to be very important that you get your transfer code. And if you haven't saved it, do it do it do it the instructions do say how to do it go to my room help game system explanation other data transfer that's how you will transfer uh your data but you need to uh we go over here to my room here real quick and we're gonna look if it ever loads and this is hopefully something they fix in the update my goodness oh these load times are just atrocious oh my goodness oh seriously come on there we go seriously yeah that, i will not miss that but anyway you want to go down and you want to issue you click issue a transfer number and then you're going to want to make sure you save that number that they give you so but it's in under my room and and then issue transfer number uh and then you'll need to enter a password when you enter it now i already have one here so i don't want to display it so that's why i'm not clicking it I guess I could create a new one, but I don't feel like it. So, but hopefully that helps. But anyway, the new engine will be uh, amazing as far as graphics. Uh, we so in, in addition to improved load times, the game should visually look a lot better than it does currently, uh, especially when they update some of the servants, uh, like Noble Phantasm animations and stuff. Uh, I saw the new. Uh, recently on a twitch stream uh and the link to my twitch channel is uh, in the description but we had a uh, uh a video where we watched where we saw the new animation for saber uh, autoria uh her noble phantasm and it looked just gorgeous it was just really freaking awesome i was i was like oh, 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 oh. so anyway hopefully though um there won't be any too many problems uh, with people when they get the update. But it's long overdue in my opinion. But at least we're getting it. And then we'll see if uh, they can uh, speed up some of the quality of life improvements they have on the JP servers into NA. Uh, now that we're going to Unity 2018. So, okay. So that's going to do it for this video on Twitch. We're going to keep going. Uh, but on YouTube, thank you so much. So much for watching and if you like this video give it a like and subscribe to my channel and there's also my anime and manga blog at anime.astronerdboy.com all right we'll see you in the next video i hope you have a good one and talk to you later